There's three of us, there's three of us, look closely you will see. There's three of us, just three of us. Oh shit! Why the hell did you do that? Oh my god. Oh my god, are you alright? Oh my oh. Oh. One. Remember, kids, it's not okay to kill yourself. Unless you accidentally make clones, then it's okay. Learn that tip from Gravity Falls. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my favorite time of all. More don't hug me, I'm scared. The greatest freaking series I have watched on this channel in a very long time. I have not had this much joy since Gravity Falls, and that is a monumental compliment when it comes to a show. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are as excited as I am to watch this next one. And uh, from the comments, I would say uh, I'm in for a treat because there uh, there is a lot of people saying, buckle yourself in, buddy, for this next one. Because, uh, <laughs> I guess this one's not going to be a comedy-focused episode. This is more of the, uh-oh, kind of focus. Because most comments said this is the scariest or the creepiest one. Which, by the way, your boy loves scary. Scary is probably my favorite genre of them all. I probably find comedy higher than scary. But, it's a second for me, for sure. I love scary content. So, I am excited to see this episode. And don't worry, I guarantee you Duckman will get one zinger. Pew! Oh, huh, that's a heck of a shot. Of course, folks, like check out the original link and more from original content creator. You can find it on channel4.com. There's three of us, there's three of us. Ah! Still four of us, by the way, but you know what? That's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put that eternally. <laughs> well, now you look like the egg that you're best known for in the background. Pesky bee. <laughs> Is he dead already? Oh, God, you're watching the dog content again? Wait. I just realized. What you. Oh, because I realized something too. The milk. Now, the question is, is that lore based or is that just them adding a little spook for the sake of spooks? Who knows with these guys? They had so much. Who's to say what's spook and what's real? But uh, it does seem that they have gone missing because they have been put on the milk cartridge. Have they been kidnapped? Ooh. Now, a lot of people have talked about how the first iteration and this iteration aren't connected, which I, I don't know. That seems very unlike them. And personally, I don't like that. I wish it was connected. Uh, and knowing them, like with the intricate detail of everything to put together a story, I'd be very surprised if that's the case. I speculate at some point, if this gets another season, we'll get some answers. But it does make me wonder with that milk cartridge, they did all disappear at the end of the last one. Where are they now? It is confirmed that it is the next day. It is no longer the 19th, it's the 20th. Which is, by the way, the number one reason why I truly believe this is a sequel. Because of that one calendar spot. Like, maybe they did it just as a, a wink and a nudge to all of us. But it, I, I doubt it. I really do think this is the next day in whatever this hell is for them. Ow. 
Oh, wow. Whoa! Wow. What a twist. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Rolton is the dog. No, Rolton is the man. Hovris is the dog, I reckon. It's okay, but I get a mistake all the time. Thank God you guys are called red guy, yellow guy. You have no idea how much... Guess what I just found in the pantry. Another dead body? No, you have to guess. I'll give you three guesses. Uh, is it a tin of soup? <laughs> Ooh, good guess. <laughs> Wrong. Damn it! It's a... Two cans um, of soup. I messed that up. of chuddle dollops. That's right. <laughs> what? Yes! Yay. Well, let's crack into these. This is the best then. episode. I can't see how this could ever end scary. I have one guess left. But <laughs> I got it right. So, I said three guesses, not two. <laughs> you another guess. I like it when you're wrong. I'm dying to know what your final guess would have been. What people? Fine. How come Duck Guy sounds uh, different? Some rice. Wrong. <laughs> oh, bad luck. Okay, <laughs> I win <laughs> now. Let's crack into these chuddy D's. Why do you come on? I'm trying. <laughs> Open them up. What's wrong with come you? On. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Hey, why not try a healthy option? I'm leaving. I'm done. I, d I vegans really? They've gone downhill. They've gone downhill. Vegan? They let the vegans on the show? I'm out of here. I'm done with the show. I'm just kidding you. You think I would run away that easily? I will eat him! So, did anyone else notice that uh, Duck Guy's voice sounds different in this one than the last episode? Uh, I know somebody, I guess this technically would be considered a spoiler, uh, but I'm actually going to take it <laughs> because, they, you know, whatever. Um, that apparently in one of the episodes he's auto-tuned. I think he may actually be dying and it's a different bird each episode. He's actually doing a Kenny. Now, if he doesn't die in this episode, my, my theory is null and void. Duck guy, why are you such a mystery? What's going on in your life, ducky boy? Did you know the preservatives? Oh! Thank you, ma'am. Oh, dear, Tommy. Looks like these guys need our help. Hooray, Lily. There's nothing we can oh! do. Oh! Oh! No. Talking to us. Don't let him in door. Ah! Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. I put in my little figure out box. That's my brain. And I went, beep, boop, 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 boop. And I went, oh, that's why people say it's scary. Because that's the worst doll I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this picture right here, folks. Did you know that there is a 20% chance that he's looking through your window right now as you're watching this video? And every time you look, he's already moved away, so he's always staring. Just waiting for the perfect opportunity to get in and then crawl into your skin. That's right, he peels your skin back so he can crawl in and live inside you. I hate this. <laughs> also, I scared myself! And the fact that they gave them a lazy eye is the worst! Cheese! <laughs> Sorry. I looked over and I saw the cheese looking at me and I was like, ah, I gotta give my boy a shout out. Wow, I've never spoken to two people before. <laughs> what about us? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah sorry, You're a duck, just, not a person. Time. It's just we're about to eat these dollops. Uh oh, Todney. I don't think they're going to be able to open them, are they? No, they are not. Oh! Oh, oh, oh the way they move! Oh, please tell me they die at the end. Get the shovel. Looks to me like that's a family pack for a family. Uh, Duh. More of a guide to the amount than a law. I'm the dad. He's the pet, and you're you. the <laughs> No. Come on. If anyone's the father figure, it's me. No. I even keep little pictures of us in the house wallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fiddlesticks. I'm going to have to pause and go back. In his defense, he does wear a dad suit. So, uh, by the way, I paused it on the pictures. I went back and messed up my whole, uh, like, sinking process just to look at some fucking nerds. That guy looks like a pedophile. Ryan, don't even, don't even zoom. Don't even zoom to, because you, that's a real human being that you've just called a pedophile. You figure it out. It's that guy. That's not you. So if we're not <laughs> He's good. Then what are we? Just like a 
group or a clump? I don't want to be in a clump. I want to be in a family. I want to be the dad. I <laughs> have a family. Hmm. I don't think. Oh. No. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, that was last season. No more of that. None of that, Mister. We can't have any connections. Oh, that's nice. No, it's not nice. Sure, we're not technically a family, but we live together and we have the same lawyer, and it works. Right, guys? Too so obsessed with family anyway. It's just a word. Just a word. I love my family. You like me. Okay, right. You can't keep pausing it. That was the. I'm not coming out. 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 Okay, I thought about a seal playing with a ball. I'm coming out. Also, I like how they have no concept of the idea of friendship. <laughs> None of them went. Oh, maybe we're just roommates and friends. Uh, sorry about that. Ah! <laughs> something that means a great deal to us. Come on, How much of the budget it took in the peeing pants scene? How'd you get it so evenly put together? Like, I don't want to be a part of your family. I don't want at all for you any. Well, at least his drawing's got a lazy eye. No, I don't want to be that kind of friends. You, are you guys gonna freaking make love? Will that be allowed on the television? She got a nose ring? I could not tell what I was looking at. Don't play that. Don't play that. If you play that, I'm gonna slap you. And your little stupid hands. I hate his hands. Why the frick do these things scare me so much? What is it about his hands? What is it about them? Sorry, I, I just finished Hunter x Hunter and hand, ants give me, like, uh, Vietnam flashback. Oh, good. What a typical bunch of Swedish <laughs> This what happens when you, this is what happens when you go back to your Why do you, what happened up here, bud? I wanted to be like you with the bald spots. I hate the way his hands are going, but I respect his jam. Why did you do that with his legs? I'm not supposed to be living with these two but things. They're not even red. <laughs> like me. Come on, fair point. I'd like to meet the guys like me who like one of me. Steady on now. You still have a lot to learn. Does it make you ask the question? How come everybody's a different what species? What is this universe? Where do they all come from? I think we need to call a family meeting. Look at them go. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, we've just had an idea, haven't we, Lily? We have, Tony. Let's say it together on the count of 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Oh my god! You just slap me? Why don't you guys come to he's, our family? He's home? gonna bite your ankle. Okay, you may be family, but you're terrible at this. Our own internal discussion about whether we'd like to do that. <laughs> As the house father well, what figure. For? We shouldn't really be talking to each other anymore, should we? We don't even know each other, really. We're just a bunch or a clump or something. Hey, don't say that. Of course we know each other. Look. <laughs> no, wait. That's... Let's see this real family in action. So, they can open is this literally just them becoming a family like just so they can open up a family? <laughs> What? Also, what? Why would you say this to me, you little freak? Morty. Oh, the lighting. No, no, thank you. Oh my God, the lighting. Is that tea? <laughs> no, that's uh, coffee, bud. Thick to be a liquid, but too wet to be a food. It's a family <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Tony, say when. That's oh. It oh. Here. It's gravy, but. Who's needs blood? At least they got the blood in the legal manner, you know? They didn't go and... Oh, I guess you could just put any old blood in a bag. <laughs> I don't know why I just assumed that... Because the blood was in a tube that it was legal blood, not illegal blood. 
I hate this episode. <laughs> Not in a, I hate this episode because it's a bad episode, but like my my fear dar is you know telling me to get out i mean i'm not gonna get out i'm going through this hoping that duck man gives him the duck justice grandma you all right that really is coffee by the way that's our family scent Every you're family has a looks scent. like the person crying yeah, in the last episode it one bit. hey don't sniff it all it belongs to the whole family yeah <laughs> leave some for us no! No! I didn't get a sniff in. <laughs> it was so. <laughs> okay, Ryan, you can't keep pausing. You can't. Other than the fact that that wasn't a cough, that was my organs trying to leave my body. Is he connected to the sad people from the last episode? Or did they just use the same model? Because there's only so much budget. I don't know. I'm taking my clothes off. Also, while we're paused, let's talk about how fucking hilarious and amazing that scene was. The fact that they said you have to share. Red guy got mad and started, started sucking in so quick with them. Like, it could be they're trying to say, like, he was in sync with the family. But to me, it seemed like he was just like, huh. <laughs> like, he, tried, he was trying to get it all and take it for himself. And Duck Guy and Yellow Guy were just so baffled. Like, what the hell is going on here? Brother, you're home. Brother? Come, come sit with us. Oh, oh. Oh, uh. <laughs> Hello, you have a beautiful family here. I'm actually looking to my family. So, uh, oh my Lord. what are we watching here? When oh my God. Family, it's important to treasure your memories. This is our first family picnic. We have picnic. He's right, by the way. Josh, my dad died. I don't remember him. All I remember is the footage of him. Yes, <laughs> it's really sad, but it's just... Oh. So why, did, why did I say something that wasn't scary? I was stung by a bee on my eyelid. But mother Oh! You don't have eyelids, bro. Shush now, Todney. Um, so how long is this home movie? This is the extended cut. Because we actually can't stay for too long. We need to get home. Hey, don't talk over the home movies. <laughs> Guys, can we just talk privately for a moment? What? You, me, and that <laughs> one? You can't have a family meeting. You're not a family. Well, let's just have a bundle meeting. Wait. <laughs> to, uh, like sticks. Meeting. Well, that's a stretch. Cluster or a clump. <laughs> oh! oh, Grandma's right. It's family game, game time. time. Family, family game, game time. time. Family, family game, game time. time. What's this family now? Game time. time. Okay, I think I'm gonna be all right. I think I'm gonna be okay. Everything's fine. This episode's not scary. I'm not gonna be traumatized or have nightmares or keep looking for grandma. It's just an empty chair. It's just an empty chair. It's an empty chair. Grandma's not in that chair. She doesn't exist. She's not there. Grandma's not in there. Because if she was, she'd get all right there for scaring the crap out of me, you jerk. Oh my god, Grand Grand. If you jiggle one more time, I'm knocking it over. <laughs> well, you know what? Can't be him. Join him. Row two, he or she must have at least two cousins on the family. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and five, and six. Do we have to use our teeth? Well done, Todd. Yeah, that's kind of racist for ducks. Yeah, and that's good, is it? Sorry, what are the rules of this And, like, Red Guy's got to have such an advantage. He's got, like, a thousand Our teeth. families need to have secrets. The bigger, the better. Huh. What's no. it going no. to be? No, I don't want any secrets. What is going on? What is the moral of the story other than scaring the pants off me? It's a secret. My go. Ooh, nice roll, Lily. Thank you, Todney. Now I get to move across the family bridge. You know what? They're probably not even serial killers. But they're freaking oh, well white, which oh. makes it... <laughs> white people. You can't trust them, guys. You can't trust them. These kind of... Listen, as a, a fellow, look at this, look at this. Don't trust him. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Ah! Oh, it's a real hand! <laughs> Good effect, though. You can use Mother's piece. Ooh. Oh. Mother will be home in time for dinner. You'll stay for dinner, won't you? She um, working her nine to five? Get the just idea. A, oh, Come I wish mom's just a normal house woman. House. Just like, we, should really be heading off. we haven't finished the game. Yeah, my desk job. yeah, I think this is just the practice round. We haven't even <laughs> reached the family spiral. Yeah, fine. Look, pass me <laughs> the <laughs> Please stop. You must only be touched by mother. You broke the rules. Perhaps you should leave. Fine. Why do people keep asking me to leave? First episode, I get kicked out of my job. Second, I get kicked out of life. Just you. Whoa! He's it. And here it is. Oh, good. They're a good Christian family. Is built around it. The tree shows all of our family members that came before us. Our ancestors. This is a shadow monster. Well, hang on a minute. If I'm not mistaken, these pictures, they've all, they've been, they've all been framed. <laughs> nice. Framed pictures. Yeah, I reckon my family will have hundreds of these things. What? Pictures. Where's the other one? I thought we were going to share those dollops. I think you'd look nice in a picture. Um, so, what's this one? Do I get one of these? That's Uncle Terry. Uncle. <laughs> I like the sound of that. An uncle right? Like an extra you are a great uncle mother, guy. But weaker and in the distance. You don't mind it when they stay, but you're not too sad when they leave. Uncle Terry will be sorely missed. He went somewhere? Uncle Terry died. He went on fire. Oh, no. But it was okay in the end. He left us his filing cabinet. Yay! It was nearly new. Right, I'm ready. Where's my uncle? Is he around? <laughs> <laughs> Red guy, you're a, a bundle of light. Okay, but where's my family? Perhaps I could help. I just need a sample of your DNA. You know what? It's fair. All these photos are made of paper, which is literally just wood, so... We've stole all of this DNA from him. Give give the man a little DNA. What for? To help you find your family members, silly. Great. Hey, so do some forms or how about a blood sample? What's that? I just need a drop. Ah! Oh! You <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Fun guy. Oh god, that's I can't look at that. I can't I can't look at that. Don't you take the red from the red guy? No! What is wrong with you? Is that a Mexican hat? Oh my god, the blood from before. Oh my god, the blood from before. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are we cowing it right now? No one's gonna get that. Oh, that's the only thing I remember these effects. Holy smoke. Whoa, buddy, are you seducing me? Yes. I will say good. Yes, to you. Probably better off without them. Anyway, I was wondering if um, you guys think of yourselves as a family, and uh, if you needed any more family members, maybe a dad. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is that you're asking. <laughs> now, now, come along, now, children. Let's go. <laughs> He's asking if you want to fuck Miss Brett. Oh! You shouldn't have said no. Come on, man. You know what? I'm actually glad I don't have a family. <laughs> and toast does stay good with eyes. They would. You do not know family. <laughs> but you literally killed that last episode. Yeah, they all got hit by a shovel, bud. They're dead. Ain't come back. Hey, hey, Apple guy. I'm glad you had your baby come back. You 
You know what? I figured it out. The moral of the story is don't, uh, don't, uh, eat bad. Just eat an apple, and this won't happen. And there's a lot of the pesky bee egg in this episode. Which, by the way, this is episode three, and that was episode three. So maybe that's connected. Except that one was about religion. Which maybe could connect to this episode. You know, I never get a chance to say this, but I appreciate how round his head is. Like, I just... I really, oh my gosh! <laughs> to be fair, that guy would flip a table. It's true. I did say you. You are my favorite. Oh. I'm still here, by the way, and the bread. Wow, looks like we've both grown a few inches this week, Todney. It's not much, Lily, but it's better than going backwards like Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we measure yeah, you? Oh, such a burn, she fucking um, spit up her organ. I came with? What others? We're away. No, I mean, no. come on, this no, no. will be fun. Won't it, oh my Tom? God, did you it kill Red been. Guy? Measuring is so much fun. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, don't you touch him! I'll slap your nipples with your suspenders. Sure you touch my yellow guy. I thought I wasn't a family. Don't be silly. We consider you to be such a close friend. You're almost part of the family. I'm also mad that you have not considered me. Almost part of the family. Huh. I don't want to, by the way, but it's, you know. Oh, yeah. It's the fact it's that bedtime. you. Bedtime. 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 I like how excited Grandpa was for bedtime, or Uncle, I forget who he was, but I get that. I get that today. I'm big on bedtime. Right outside. Maybe you could turn your light off and your torch. Don't worry. It's hard to sleep after such a fun day. A couple tickets. Your rest. I know, Toddy. Why don't you sing the nighttime song? Toddy has a beautiful singing voice. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Please don't. La, 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 la. No, thank you to the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely, Tommy. No. Yeah. At least the lamp, the cult leader lamp I had, shut himself off. There's some other guys before. Did they make Red Guy into a mop? That's, quite that's nice. efficient and horrifying. Oh, you do have a beautiful singing voice. No, no, don't. Please. Yes. Don't sleep, don't sleep, yellow guy, don't sleep, yellow guy. Huh? I'm just playing my game, boy. <laughs> what you okay. playing? Warrior yeah, Land 2? It's my favorite. Left. Now hold it there. Hey, yeah, good news. We got nice. use of the gray oh, so you must model. Stay still. <laughs> oh, please, sir. <laughs> He's still making it, I just realized. Hey, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you again. Yeah. <laughs> and you on the left, can you stop smiling? Oh, am, am I smiling? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I just can't help myself. I'm just happy to finally be with my family. You're ruining it. You I like the kid with sunglasses, by the way. No, please. Come on. I'm, I'm just happy. No, I'm sorry. Fine. Just stay still. Okay. Everyone on the camera. In, in your defense, One, that, the two, picture guy's a fucking three. dick. Oh! <laughs> oh. There you are. <laughs> Good way to get him over there, by the way. What is happening? Hello? Is, is this is this actually is this? the scene from Resident Evil 7? Uh, get me out of here. Oh! Go home. Oh! Mommy's getting stressed again. But that's okay. She's probably just hungry. Yes. Mother? Probably just hungry. Oh my god, I'm so fucking scared right now. I hate you and your pee head. I don't care if you become a Muppet character in the future. You're a terrible scientist. You are, Mummy. And that means we are a proper family again, doesn't it, Lily? It does, Todney. And now that we are a proper family, we qualify for the Groton's family discount again. Make the call, Mummy.
<laughs> it was all an elaborate scheme to get a discount. <laughs> I totally get how this is one of the most horrifying scenes I've ever seen in my life. That they kidnapped him and dressed him up as his mother. But just to get a discount makes it so much better. It makes it actually a joke. Oh, it's still horrifying, by the way. It's still one of the scariest things I've ever seen. But at the same time, hilarious. Use those fingers and make the call. Make That's a great deal, bud. I'm actually on their side this time. Make that call. Make that call. They went through a lot of effort for this whole to get this discount, bud. <laughs> what a beautiful voice. He'd be a great bass. I don't think you can just fit anyone in the spot, by the way. Oh, stop banging. Stop banging. <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Why is one of that? Oh, 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 we got to get out of here. Oh my God. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Trying to become someone's mother. Yum, 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 Dad. You, you care about me more than chicken, right? No. Alright, see you. What did you say? <laughs> oh, nothing. Buy me a good old day. with your new family then? No. I don't know what that was. Probably not a family. What about you and your family? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> hey, who says we're not a family anyway? Maybe a family is just a group that care for each other. And stick together. And this is going to end with someone getting killed. <laughs> in the same day, in the same style of accident, but in different locations. Yeah, we're a family. Brother, here, pass me that family pack. I think things might go a little differently this time. <laughs> I guess we could show. <laughs> oh. oh! 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 How is it in the scariest scenarios of my life? Some of the scariest visuals I have seen ever. And we are putting this next to actual horror movies. This is overtaken all of them. They have made visuals that put 95, if not more, horror movies to shame. And yet, they still made me laugh so hard that I teared up. How are you this good? How? Have you grabbed me by my jugular and brought me on a ride I never thought I'd be on? This, this, this is a work of horror art, folks. So much was masterfully done. To the point, I think they could make a horror movie and be one of the best horror movies of all time. One, atmosphere, the environment, the area, the house, everything about it, every room colored with this gray or this nasty tinted yellow makes you just scared it's like that that kind of old house that makes everybody uncomfortable it feels sinister and then there's the way they moved 
the way some of these characters moves sometimes like the big guy frantically moving the way he moved is so sporadic so uncomfortable it is so well done those little puppet kids the way they move the way they slide across like they're almost like they're not real they're almost like ghosts but they're, they seem possessed they massive possession and also speaking of which we've got the visuals the eyes oh my gosh the eyes it's amazing how much eyes make something scary they legitimately can be the scariest part of the human body another thing camera angles there's some shots like there were like two or three shots of the puppets that made me so incredibly uncomfortable felt dreamlike also felt like i'm good like something really bad's gonna happen kind of found footagey dude and then the last scene, the last scene, the way their mouths are flopping, the way they're eating, the violent nature, like the way they transform into horrific monsters at the end. And then there's Roy. I can't tell if Roy murdered them. If so, good on you, Roy. You did the, you did the Lord's work for that one. They did turn your son into a wife. Unless that was symbolism that he was, that Roy was the dad and he was turning into his mother. I don't know. But I don't like it because it made me scared. Oh, God, there's something else. Scary rules. Scary rules is another thing. The way that they point and have almost magical powers. Terrifying. They did everything. They, if not that, they did so much to make this feel like an absolute nightmare. That as a horror fan... I have legitimately not been this uncomfortable, this scared in a long time. I'm going to give it the ultimate. I'm going to give it one of the best compliments I could give them. The last time I was this scared was PT. No horror movie has ever made me feel that scared. Never. And I've watched a lot. Everything felt sinister. Everything felt like it was a danger. Everything let those do 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 those danger symbols off. Nothing felt safe. Other than the characters themselves, they actually, because they're joking, you felt safe with them. And just all around, one of the best horror things I have ever seen in my entire life. And maybe it's because I'm afraid of puppets. Granted, I'm definitely terrified of puppets, uh, dolls, ventriloquist dummies, mannequins, and those were like all of them. I do want to know why uh, one of the boys was wearing a chicken mask while eating chicken. This was all for fried chicken. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was. They killed the apple because they didn't want the healthy choice. It's all a health thing. Uh, which you could almost say that with families, it doesn't work if it's unhealthy. And that's the moral of the story. Unhealthy families do not bring you anything but trauma and pain every single character here was shown in some form having a bad relationship with family duck guy didn't have anything or he was too selfish to truly have a family um i have to re-watch that with the words because i think there was something i was trying to say maybe future i will notice it so i re-watched the duck guy scene and uh like the first time watching it i felt it was more a selfish based thing but second time watching it like without commentating and just listening uh it's way more depressing than uh i think originally because at first i was thinking like his problem was he was self-indulgent that's why he couldn't have a family but it was actually saying the more that he had no family so therefore he had to make do with just himself being his own family and uh i feel like a lot of people who are in bad families who don't love them or orphan kids or people who uh, don't have families have to deal with this very thing that duck guy is going through of being your own family and almost becoming selfish just because you didn't have anything to truly care about to connect with that last shot of him by himself is actually really sad especially when you realize if he's by himself there is no other duck people it's all in his head that means when he fought he was fighting with himself that's way more deep than i thought 
And I'm really glad I rewatched it because it actually kind of hit me right in the feels rewatch it. Like that last scene where he's sitting alone and it goes dark and he's just sitting there and his eyes look sad and he blows out a candle. Wow. Which is really surprising because like in the last episode, oh no, it's not the last episode, the next episode, I felt they were going to go there, but they didn't. Wow, that scene is much better. I'm really glad I rewatched that one. That was uh, surprisingly really sad for this show. Usually they usually go for the joke, but yeah, this is really this is really awesome. I, I'm I'm really glad I went back. But anyways, back to past Ryan with Red Guy. His family situation was he could never make anyone happy. You're smiling too much. Oh, you're doing this. You're not doing that. So he never truly fit in his family. He always felt like he wasn't doing it right he never got the true family he wanted because he never could fit in and yellow guy i mean everybody can figure out yellow guy his dad has scarred him to no end and uh like he's probably the biggest examples of toxic family and i think that's what it was really talking about is uh families are good but families are only good if they're healthy if families are unhealthy all it does is uh cause some of the scariest visuals you can imagine and it doesn't come from the outside world it comes from inside because if your family life is horrifying it is the scariest thing you can possibly imagine also if grandma gets a hold of two bells I'm slapping the shit out of Graham Graham don't you touch those bells <laughs> At least that's what I think it's trying to say. I could have missed something here. I'm pretty sure that's where it's going with. Uh, but I think more of the moral is uh, don't tempt the craters to do something scary because they'll do it. And then Ryan never pooped again. The end. Wow, wasn't that a lovely episode that we watched today? But we still have some more business to attend to, such as reading your comments from the last episode. I love all the little touches. With symbolism and everything else, this series feels like a different beast from the original. It's nostalgic, but you can tell they really pushed to build the trio as characters and tell a more compelling story because of that. The writers are the OGs, Salone, Peeling, and Terry, but I believe there are one or two new writers they got to help make the series fit so much better as a TV show. This show feels like what a revival should be doing, improving on weaker elements by adding something new. In reality, the show is almost nothing like the web series. It's better by trying to be its own thing. So I agree and disagree with this comment. I think they're 100% right. They fill in the gaps. They add a lot more than the original did. Like the comedy is was non-existent in the original one. It kind of was. There There is the surreal humor. Like, of course, Pesky B. Like he kills a, a butterfly. Like that's technically comedy. But everything else was way more serious. It was more on the mystery element than it was on the storytelling aspect. But there's something to be said also about it being a TV series now. Because it's a TV, they now have to fill in 25 minutes of content. A little less than that. And when you have to fill 25 minutes of content, it's very hard to do what the original did, which was all mystery and like kind of that uneasy feeling. Uh, it's very difficult to do that. So being able to fill in the gaps with comedy is a great touch to the show. I don't think it truly loses what the original has. The original has its own feeling. And a lot of it really early on is about the shock factor. And once you're in the series, you know it's coming. But I totally agree with them adding on to the series. I feel like they did it not to just to advance the series, but I think they had to as a TV series. Otherwise, they would just they they wouldn't know how to fill in the gaps. Or it would become more stale if it was just all the same thing, like creepy all the time. The reason the show's so good is it never lets up. It's always something new. And by the time it does something that it did before, you've already forgotten it because it was so long ago. So it's a great blend. And also a great comment. Thank you, Brad Slice. <laughs> I'm just going to read this just because it makes me laugh. Love the intro. It's so funny and cute. <laughs> well, thank you, Mariah Steele. I appreciate that. It's still very funny to me that the UFO Ryan could ever be considered cute. 
<laughs> By the way, little fun fact for you. The one regret I have about that intro is I wanted when my head was going up, I wanted a little man, a little alien man to go and jump out, but I I never did it. I was so annoyed. The original uh, UFO, Ryan, was such a failure and took, it was like two hours of my life to get nowheres, where originally it was supposed to be just the body and then the body was supposed to implode on itself like the arms are going to go on the chest like this the legs was going to go upside down like a v and the head was going to go down i want to do like a power rangers thing but it wasn't happening i was having such a tough time that i threw it all to the bin and you know what i'm kind of happy it did because i think it came out a lot better love your reactions to the series please don't take another month for, to watch the next episode it's not that it takes me a month to watch i've actually watched a bunch of them it's uh it's the editing process and most of all waiting for them to unblock it so that's one of the reasons it takes a little while oh i have not read this comment nor have i thought this thought people are trying to figure out which one of them got killed in the ending duck or stain but it's definitely made ambiguous there are maggots in the pool of gore so it could be Duck, but he is supposed to be full of steam. But if it's Stain, did the, he actually go through the trouble of shape-shifting all his insides to be blood and organs? The creators love to screw at people. It's probably more important to them than actual consistency. <laughs> Dude, I did not think of that. I just assumed with Duck's <laughs> character and being a war general that he would kill them without hesitation he already you already seen this episode he's willing to bite the knees off or the shins off of yellow guys so i actually don't know this is a fucking awesome comment i did not think of this and not to mention i brought this up before about how duck guy dies in every episode if that was to be the case then my theory about duck guy acting weirder and different in episode three then episode two it would explain why that would mean duck guy died in that episode and i guess his name's stain didn't i don't remember his name being stain and all i could think of is this guy from my hero academia but there's a very good chance that is stain fascinating that is a really fascinating comment thank you very much at7 out of 10 i think i said that right during the funeral, an apple falls from a tree is a reference to the next episode. Cracker poop pop. <laughs> I'm not a child. But that's such a cool touch. I love that stuff. I know they've done this before, but that little stuff just, it adds. It adds. When you can add stuff to the atmosphere, you are increasing the value of everything you make. I think the series is less connected to the original series than you think. There are plenty of references to the original, but it seems like it's a very different story from PP. <laughs> right? Are you just picking all the names that are like PP Poo Poo? <laughs> no! Yeah. The more I watch it, the more I'm going to be honest. I I'm still holding up hopes that the creators are still connecting this to the first one. The biggest reason I believe that is on the calendar, it says 20. And to me, if that's nothing more than a, ah, 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 I feel like they lost a good opportunity. And it very much seems unlike the creators of the show this cr the creators of the show love continuity they love having something from the past that connects to this one and i would be legitimately shocked if this is literally just a re-scrubbing yeah i won't really know what to say till i finish it uh all i have to say is i will be kind of disappointed if the creators decided that there is no connection whatsoever and it's just a new series it just it it seems unlike them, and it feels like a complete missed opportunity to not in some way connect it, make them two different whole entities. Ooh, here's an interesting comment. Someone thought of a very fitting connection of that what the lamp meant by dying and putting on a performance to earn pounds by the council as a super race is telling Yellow Guy that we, the audience, are seeing them performing in the show and that by earning currency is a reward. And even if they are shown to die, us, the council, will keep them alive as long as they keep performing as characters to do a well-done act. Otherwise, they actually will die and the act is ready to end and we move on to engage in another 
new performance. That is fantastic. That is a great one, Elias. Well, come on, Ryan. Give him some respect. Elias's veiny pat clap of Mr. Frundles. That's really good. That's a really, really interesting comment. Even if he's wrong, that's a really interesting point. The idea of the audience being the thing that keeps you alive no matter what. The show keeps going on, therefore your existence is alive. Technically, every cartoon character exists and lives based on our wants. If we want more, they will live. But once we stop wanting, the show ends and the characters die. Great stuff. Wow, that's an awesome comment. <laughs> Sorry, I just read the last comment uh, from uh, Fabulous Roy. So Roy himself, this is the actual Roy. Uh, he wrote, Ryan is dressed like a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and I eat pussy like one too. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> All right, so I watched the first credits and, uh, there was literally nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. The only thing I can think of is there's a special thanks and uh, Roy's on the bottom of it. When you meet a businessman, you must shake him by the hand. When you meet a family man, you must shake him by the hand. When you meet the choo-choo man, you must shake oh, him damn. by the hand. When you meet oh, the shit, boy. Girl, you must shake him by the oh, hand. Oh, damn, boy. <laughs> that's that stain i'm calling it right here i don't care if stain had maggots in his head i'm gonna say stain has maggots in his head because technically i feel like he came out of a hole in the ground or he was related to the the hole or something he was looking a lot in the hole there's probably some maggots that went him there's always maggots in claymation it's old there's no way that's not the duck man from this episode that is the man you can you can mimic somebody you can't mimic somebody that good All right, and the third one was the singing. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining me for Ryan Watch's small cut that he missed. I don't know if there's anything I missed. I don't think so. I heard the boys sing his little laws. Are you happy? I guess the, the second one was worth it. The second one was worth it. It made me laugh. But uh, the other two, one and two, was not, was not worth it, other than the fact that they special thanked Roy. Ladies and gentlemen, I've said it once, I'll say it again. These are some of the greatest viewings I've seen on this channel in a very a long time. Thank you so much for joining me for this. This uh, this was one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. And I loved it. I hope you did too. If you did, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be reading these comments at the end of each video from the last episode. So episode two will be in this one. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.